So somebody said that they was watching my uh, my lives. So I got I got a paint more on you. And um, for real, for real, when I paint, I should be um, um, I should be teaching this. That'd be dope. I mean, street airbrush is different from, you know, if they taught airbrush anywhere else, like at a college or something. So, I don't know. You know, we could start small. I can just really talk about the things that I'm doing as I'm doing it. Imagine though, imagine if you had to like teach your job. It'd be kind of weird though, for real. Anyway, it's so crazy to teach this. But see, the thing is, though, if I teach it, though, the, the video, the video would be valuable. You know what I'm saying? It's not about if it's entertaining or if I'm entertaining. It's the value of the information in the video. So if I can just get my mind on that and not worry about, you know what I'm saying, like if I'm interesting or if I, you know, am doing something that is dope, you know. I'm one of those artists that think that none of their stuff is dope. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already. That stuff right there, so. So, I mean, here, I gotta talk this out, you know. So, imagine, you know what I'm saying? I'm painting a license. It's just one of the projects of today. And um, so imagine if I said, yo, these are the things that we're going to do today. And one was a license plate, and I just painted it straight up. It will take forever, first off. And whoever will watch it all the way through is you're either you it's either your artwork so that's kind of cool you know what I'm saying like um, doing people's artwork live it's kind of like if you were sitting right here um, you know watching your artwork get done and you just ordered it online that's kind of cool though um, or the other value is you know what I'm saying you just 
haven't seen me in years and you like, yo, they go raid, that dude crazy. You just want to just hear me talk. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I do that with y'all stuff. Like I haven't seen y'all and I just be wanting to see how y'all connect thoughts and all that type of stuff. <sighs> the other value is then the aspect of someone learning something. So a person that's learning something is either just learning, you, you know what I'm saying, the process of just building an image or in my case, like the airbrush or somebody is interested in the airbrush. Now, that is the hardest part for me because I just don't think nobody gives a fuck about no airbrush. I've been doing it for so long though, you know what I'm saying? So, and people come into the store and they always talking about like, you know what I'm saying, if they could learn something or you know what I'm saying, if I'm doing classes. So there is a market out there. And then I'm a street dude, so you know what I'm saying, I say it in my own type of way, in my own type of flavor, you know what I'm saying, that separates me from other airbrush artists. So a person really might learn in my vernacular, you know what I'm saying, in my style. Uh, rather than the cats that, you know what I'm saying, is all technical and, you know, and look at it and come from that perspective of this. So, today I have a sweatshirt. I have the disc got to be done. This has to be done. This has to be done. And then a nice little canvas. This Gucci shirt gotta be done. How much does this take for? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I started in eighth grade. Um, I would have really appreciated to watch somebody paint because when I went up to talk and ask somebody, you know what I'm saying, they was like, hey, get the fuck out of here, my face. So, which was cool because, you know what I'm saying, who would teach somebody to be their competition? There was no value in it then. But now, you know what I'm saying, I can take a, a video and then make some kind of class out of it. And you know what I'm saying, if nobody ever buys it, you know, one day it might be valuable. You know what I'm saying? Because who wants to try to learn how to airbrush on their own? It takes so much time when you're by yourself, but when you're watching somebody and you're vibing with somebody, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot easier. I'm trying to talk myself into this, y'all, for real. Um, so, okay, let's try it. Let's see what happens. What if I was to teach this shit? All right, how would I say it? Hi, What's poppin'? <laughs> All right, this is, I'm not even going to pay attention to who's watching. I'm just going to just... Slide this to the left, to the right. Okay, so this this painting right here is a license plate. Super easy to do, super fast if you ain't talking. And um, in Ohio, in Ohio, in Michigan, California, in Arizona. You are allowed to have a personalized front license plate. So these people are allowed to take their license plate off, even though they don't, probably don't know the law yet. Um, but you know what I'm saying? When it becomes hip, they can take the license plate off and put whatever they want on that piece. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then so we can bring the airbrush license plates back. So. Uh, that's the reason why this is a, would be a dope thing to offer at your airbrush store, which you probably 
if you got an airbrush store, you probably already fucking doing this. But this is not for me to uh, worry about that. You know what I'm saying? For instance, you know, you might be a new person, no airbrush store, bunch of plates in your garage. You're like, what the hell am I going to do with all these plates? Boom, I'm about to show you how you can make some money off of them. <clears throat> okay, so, you know what I'm saying? I've painted this all one color, which is this teal. Now, you're probably wondering, like, why is it, like, faded from one side to another? Because I did something else. You know what I'm saying? I did that. And you can do that, too. You know what I'm saying? But if you was around when I did it, then I would have explained it. You know what I'm saying? But now we at the place where now we just doing the letters, all right? Now it's time to do the letters. Now it's time to really show the skill. All right. So we about to just do a white outline around the gray. Super easy. Takes five minutes. All right. Boom. But you're not done yet. Okay. Oh, there's a little thing. It's 3.30 p.m. All right, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You got this piece. All right, now it's time to add the black, okay? The black is going to make it pop. So I guess another cool thing would be is that somebody can hit me up, ask me questions, get all detailed, expose their fears about doing it. You know what I'm saying? I can walk them through that because, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that this could be intimidating to just think that you can just pick up a gun and just do it. In my brain, I think everybody could do it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but... A simple hand movement, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I can see how somebody can feel like they can't. So I can easily walk them through it. See? So I gotta add that aspect if I'm gonna be the teacher guy. All right, here we go. <coughs> Let's um, put this outline super easy does take a little bit of skill but it's okay you can do this Step back. Take a step back. Breathe. Breathe. All right. So. You 
You gotta take a step back a little bit sometimes and just look at your piece. Okay. All right, see, I'm not going to worry about it, the fact that it's just one person because it's not about somebody learning right now live. It's about the fact that live gives you this opportunity to record a video without putting all this shit on your phone. And you can keep it on your Facebook until you take it off of Facebook, edit it, put it on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Where it's never done took us kind of like a project to do. So I'm just going to just be cool with my one little person that gives a toot about what I'm talking about. Okay, so we got the outline, then we're going to do the drop shadow. This is what I call a drop shadow. Step back, look at it. All right, now the last step is kind of making that um, that little like uh, background little thing, making that uh, pop a little bit more. So here we go. We're going to create that starburst in the back to make everybody's eyes like go straight to her license plate when she's driving. All right, here we go. With the black still in the in the in the gun, you're going to put on your turquoise and then it makes a dark turquoise for about 5 minutes. 
Now, that ain't never been heard of before. Ain't no, don't nobody do that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, that's valuable. I can see how I could just get a thousand followers just off of that alone. No one leaves the paint in their gun and then assumes that the shit is going to mix when it comes out. So, it's something that I've done because I only have one gun and I've learned these things over time. Where other people have like 18 guns and they never take a gun off of a piece of, uh, off of a color, okay? So, I'm, you know, whatever. Uh, it's interesting to me. I don't know, it wouldn't be interesting to people that buy Airbrush, which this page is more for people that buy it. Um, so I guess I gotta start being friends with people that Airbrush. So, there you go. Gotta figure that out. I'm about to be a little bit more aggressive with this color change by adding blue into the turquoise. So uh, let's bring y'all up here a little bit. Hopefully it, it won't. So, all right. Then you just hit it with a little bit of you know the little razzle dazzle stuff. Airbrush stuff.
Boom. Done. Okay. So, that's it. Check it out. Boom. Take the little clear coat. Spray it on there. You feel me? Just spray it. And, um, you know what I'm saying? So it can be protected from the elements. And um, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So now you just took a little $3 license plate that you got off of Amazon and uh, turned it into uh, something valuable for somebody. Yeah. Whatever price you make up. So, um, I don't know, that was a cool experience for me to, um, to teach this. It made this uh, license plate take an hour longer. Uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm like searching for something more because uh, you know, I'm just in here just doing just a million projects every day. And uh, you know what I'm saying, sometimes that gets a little So, um, teaching, I can see how that can be fun. And especially, especially if I can get it to a place where I can do like some kind of like paint and sit on my live. Like people at the crib painting, watching, and painting their own thing while I'm painting. That'd be dope. But anyway, so, you know what I'm saying, um, I'm talking this all out to figure out how this works, but um, I won't watch this. That would be the most boringest thing in the world for me. So, I just have to trust that, you know what I'm saying, it looks right. And uh, I'm just going to just download it, upload it onto to my Instagram. And then just let it be there. And if yeah. uh, if 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 I'm if I'm right, then it will collect value over time. So, for instance, if I could go to my favorite airbrush artist's page and see him do a tutorial on his style, I will watch all of them. Because uh, I would want to know how he how he's how he's getting that how he's pulling off that look. So I'm going to do that, and you know, I may be somebody's favorite artist, and uh, and then they will go and they would you know try to duplicate my style, and uh, and that would be dope. That would be dope. That would be valuable. That would be something bigger than myself. Here, in the back of the store, of my airbrush store, which I'm thankful for. I am. You know what I'm it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice space. But um, you know, when you just do something for so long, you know, you just want more. So um, yeah, this. I just did okay so hold on hold on hold on hold on i really didn't teach you nothing think about it all i did was teach you like my process of layering these skills as far as the skill yeah man i don't know i don't know how to teach that virtually but you know what i'm saying i can't say this when you are painting you know what I'm saying? The 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 conversation that we that we can have is a lot more. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying a lot more when you actually feel it in your hand and you push the button, and the, the air comes out and then the paint comes out at the same time, and then you make a line. Like you start to get an idea, even though you like, damn son, I'm like, m mad far away from where he at. Yeah, but. You know what I'm saying? With what you're doing and the skills that you have, 
you know what I'm saying? You take those skills and you layer it the way that I just showed you to try to get, you know what I'm saying, to try to achieve this look. Boom. That's the value. So, all right, cool. All right, y'all.